Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Carrie Manning from Deo Valente Salon. And I'm Will Wareham with WHHI TV, and we're here today at Hilton Head Christian Academy. And our first guest is the Director of Admissions from uh, Hilton Head Christian Academy, Jen Denton. And she's going to tell us what sets Hilton Head Christian Academy apart from other schools here in our area. Beautiful campus, beautiful new bus, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're standing in front of it. Our second guest is Mr. Mike Covert. He is the owner of Covert Air. And he's here to talk about the upcoming football season, which is always very exciting, and a little bit about Covert Air. Yep, high school football season is here. And our final guest is Nicole Dixon, who's senior planner for the town of Hilton Head Island. So stick around for more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak. Where Spring Island comes to speak. Where Hilton Head Island comes to speak. Where Port Royal comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We are now joined by Jen Denton, who is the Director of Admissions for Hilton Head Christian Academy. Jen, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. So here we are at Hilton Head Christian Academy. We are one of our many spots on campus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A beautiful campus. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So in your opinion, um, mm -hmm. what, what, what programs set Hilton Head Christian Academy apart from other schools? Sure. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I would say that's a really broad question. One of the things that we've really tried to do is to create an atmosphere where we begin with the end in mind. And what I mean by that is having some really key capstone programs that kind of end with that high school experience, but we are a K-12 school. So having elements that build into those capstone experiences, like our Diploma with Distinction program, which is an 18-month long project offered to our juniors and seniors where they really get to dive into an array of things that they're passionate about, mm -hmm. creating basically a mini master's level dissertation that we've already seen amazing results with wow. our students from starting their own businesses to having internships prior to their first year of college, to being contacted by an undisclosed but soon to be <laughs> announced fashion design company for one oh, of our wow. art students. And so that really, that NCAP experience is really important. Building in programs like Life on Life where our upper school students work with and mentor our middle and lower school students, but really having special kindergarten capstone experiences and first grade capstone experiences that aren't just vertically aligned curriculum, but what make that cohesive HHCA education special. Very cool, kind of a comprehensive yeah. approach to the K through 12. Absolutely, that's where you experience. want that value is that K-12 approach. Absolutely, mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah. Jen, what is unique about the community at Hilton Head Christian Academy? That is one of my favorite questions to answer because I think what makes us so unique is that we do life with our students. I say that in absolute in an absolute genuine spirit and because I know that it happens every day. And what I mean by that is we are intimately involved in the lives of our students. And a big key component of that is that Christ is at the cornerstone of everything that we do. So that's an integral part of our Bible classes that naturally lend themselves to encouraging our students to be really authentic in who they are and ultimately who they are in Christ. And having those relationships be so intimate only ups the ante with what we do in an educational standpoint. Because if a student feels comfortable coming to you and talking to you about what's going on in their life, they most certainly feel coming feel comfortable coming and asking a question about my chemistry homework, you know. It, <laughs> yeah. So it creates this synergy effect and and we have just amazing faculty that are really really pouring into the lives of our students both in the classroom and outside of the classroom as well. It takes a village. It does. What, what role uh, does extracurriculars play in building this type of environment. And and that really is a linchpin too because we have so many teachers that yes they teach in the classroom but they also coach a sport. They also lead our drama department. They also sponsor student activities. And so it really breaks down the compartmentalization of our students thinking, well, but you're my history teacher, but now you're my football coach. And that intimacy in really knowing our kids is just a win-win across the board. It's what makes us have a cohesive, well-rounded experience for our students where they can explore who they are independently in the classroom and on the field and on the stage. It's just that full circle picture. So if a student has special needs, mm -hmm. which that I've heard that question too, because mm -hmm. there's 
that's always a posing question versus you know public versus private. Mm -hmm. If a student has special needs, what support services are available? Yeah, and that goes along with that that relational approach as well because we really want to be a school. Yes, we are an incredibly rigorous academic environment, but we want to be a school. Those of us that have kids, we know that not every child right. is in is created the same, and God didn't create them the right. same. And so, <laughs> in wanting to partner with the whole family, we have to have programs in place that can meet the needs of multifaceted learning abilities of our students. So we have the ARC, which is our Academic Resource Center, and that is kind of that support element for just filling in any special services that our students might need. And in addition to that, an intellectually gifted program on the other end of the spectrum mm -hmm. so that we can really, again, I keep saying this, but that cohesive experience for because our students it's here. Oh, it's I, not a straight line. It's not a straight line. It's not a straight line. And another question that I do hear a lot, and I have asked myself, is <laughs> what do you say to people that think they just can't afford private school? Keep taking a step forward. Keep seeing what your options are because we do have a very generous financial assistance program here that is need-based. At present time, about 30% of our students receive some form of financial assistance and that average award is about 30%. So there are a lot of different options available for you within that make it a lot more feasible than what you might think. And because we have a little extra time, yeah. as an added sign note, mm -hmm. a lot of students from Bluffton Come to Hilton Head Christian they Academy. Sure do. Because We're about 50-50 on that. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bus, and you, if you haven't noticed, it it's is a fancy new now. fancy <laughs> bus with that giant eagle on the side, which is super fun. And we we are always looking at Bluffton and accommodating our Bluffton families. I live in Bluffton. A lot of our families live in Bluffton, and so it's just making you know, that long drive over the bridge <laughs> seem a little bit shorter and a little bit more feasible. And again, those relationship components are very important there too in keeping that connectedness with both the Bluffton community and the Hilton Head community because we're all a part of the Low it's Country. It's not a separate yeah. community. It's no, not. No. It's all a part of the Low Country for sure. And in your role as Director of Admissions, mm -hmm. you know, if someone's uh, at the point where they're ready to take a step forward mm -hmm. and ask more questions about how they could afford or a private school, sure. or how they can get into school. Is that, sure. are you the person that can? Always start with me. Always <laughs> start with me. Um, <laughs> I promise it's not scary. Yeah. Always start with me. And mm -hmm. my favorite thing to do is give a private tour of mm -hmm. our school because to be on campus, to see our teachers in action, our teachers and our students are the lifeblood of what we do. Right. I mean, we mm -hmm. can have this great facility and we can have all of the new, new things that we've added technology wise and facilities wise in the last little bit it doesn't mean anything if you can't come in and meet the heart of our students and the heart of our teachers that's right well yeah. jen thank you very much for thank joining you us today guys. thank you so much and thank you for watching and please come back mm -hmm. for what another segment of 843 tv <laughs>